Um, I'm still, my bit rate's very low, so I will simply summarize this video, because it's not like, there's not like a single line of this that's particularly interesting. Um, what Rikita did, to give you some background, there is a guy that has been donating money to, to Rikita, and Rikita's super chat counts are in the fucking bin. He does not make any money off of his streams. It's completely like his trust fund money that keeps him afloat now. Um, he makes like less than $100 a day on most streams. So there's like a guy that's been giving him like $10 super chats just to yell at him for years. And because he's one of the only super chatters that Rikita has left, um, he doesn't, he never banned him. And it would be like the $50 that this guy would give Rikita just to make fun of him would be like the majority of his super chat income for, for any given stream. Um, but this guy got banned recently. So this other person comes back and uh, gives him money making fun of the fact that he banned him on the other account, saying you're not for free speech after all, huh? And Rikita lost his shit at this. No, I'll just hide this so you guys can see the chat better. Uh, cause it's not important. I'm not going to show you the video because there's no point. It's just 30 minutes of him being drunk and retarded. Uh, so the assumption had been in Rikita's community, or what's left of it, that this person that had been giving him money to make fun of him was Montograph, which I don't, for the record, I don't believe. I don't think that Montograph would have any any issue using his real name to make fun of Rikita. I don't think that Montograph would give Rikita money to make fun of him. And I think that Montograph is probably smart enough to not interact with Rikita during the litigation. Um, that's just my, my opinion. I could be wrong because I don't follow Rikita extremely closely but that's just like a ballpark feeling that i get about montagraph um based on what i know about him um <clears throat> but rikita chimps out at who he believes is montagraph and for the next 30 minutes just repeatedly issues the claim that montagraph is a pedophile he's a boy hungry pedophile he's saying that once it goes if it go, if it were to go to a jury which he doesn't believe all he has to do is show him the uh, the uh, little home movies that Rikita made, and I've talked about this before. But there was a, a there was like a rumor that R Montagraph had made home videos that were very pedophilic and creepy and weird, and like it, the way that they were described it made it sound like a serbian film it made it sound like something that is so grotesque like purposefully disgusting trying to hit every taboo imaginable like something made to 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 like sh genuinely enrage even hardened people and it's not it's uh it's very silly it's like it's not creepy at all it's literally like a home video that someone would film on their phone um, Montagraph as like the puzzle man kidnaps a girl and it's kind of implied the character is supposed to be underage because she's like a teen runaway or something as far as the plot goes it's like a five minute long video I've watched it because I thought it was lost media but it's not it's on the fucking forum <laughs> it's literally on the Kiwi farm it's on BitChute you can find this um, I thought it was it was lost it was not so when I said this on stream before someone just showed me the fucking video and I watched it uh, it's kind of impl it's like implied that the the girl that he kidnaps and kills in in a way that is not gratuitous at all. I think it's implied off screen, or maybe it's like a like a strangulation where it's like completely bloodless. And um, uh, he writes a letter to her parents or something because she's a teen runaway. The woman in this fucking video is clearly college age. She's like twenty three looking. Like she looks like she is probably like a waiter. <laughs> At like a restaurant she's not she doesn't look like she's like a like a like a 15 year old girl or something there is no reasonable group of jurors in the world who would look at that video watch it in its entirety and say this video um would give me the inclination that the person who made it is a pedophile like even like no this it's just not possible um because it's not it's not indecent at all. It's like a it's like a plot that involves like a like a teen murder, but it's not a plot that is exploitative in any way. 
there are exploitative videos out there is an american cinematic history I, for instance just a little aside by the way it's a really funny thing i just put together in my head that's got my neurons firing there is in classic american cinema um child nudity that is just sold on blu-ray players across this country uh, for instance there's this little movie um called american pie where a grown man watches a teenage girl undress and the really funny thing about this is that the girl is like 16 like in real life the actress is 16 years old at the time that this is filmed so right now if you go out and you buy american pie you can watch a 16 year old girl get undressed and that's a movie that might make you think, wow, there's some sketchy stuff happening behind the scenes of this production where they have this topless teenage girl um, and they're exploiting her for the purpose of this film, which does touch on the topic of like being attracted to teenage girls as an adult man. That's something where someone might watch this and reasonably assume that this movie is creepy. Uh, whereas Montecraft's film about the, the creepy stalker man who kills a girl uh, is done in a way that is so bloodless and unexploitative that you could never assume that the production crew was ever trying to exploit anyone. Just as a thought. Just as, wow, that really just struck me out of fucking nowhere. Um. Oh, American Beauty. Sorry. Oh man, I wish I had gotten that right because that would have made that so much better. The point I'm trying to make, in case you're you're lost, is that American Beauty is ricada's favorite movie, and there is a 16 year old girl who is the object of a set obsession in that, and she is like. In real life, the actress is 16 years old. And uh, for whatever reason, Riketa is obsessed with this fucking movie. He talks about it constantly. He puts himself in the shoes of Kevin Spacey, who ogles the 16-year-old girl in dressing. Um, meanwhile, he casts shade on Montagraph for producing a five-minute long short video that's supposed to be like a horror that has none of that. <laughs> that's 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 hardcore pedophilia. That's that's child exploitation. There's no reason that Monograph could have made this movie without being a pedophile. Meanwhile, the movie that actually does have the nudity of a 16-year-old girl in it, that's perfectly normal. That's a hot artist pill, uh, Devin Stack, where he talks about um, that movie. And it's it's the rev his review of it is very good. If you're curious, like what is Riketa's fixation with American Beauty, um, you should watch the Devin Stack review on Odyssey for it instead of watching the movie. Uh, is my opinion. Anyways, yeah, sorry. God, I wish I'd gotten the name of that right. That's my issue. Is that I I I get like a good um. A good flow going and then i fuck up something that's like really important and then it just ruins it that's why you can't clip me because i always sound retarded <laughs> and josh is wrong again i'm always wrong i just live in a perpetual state of wrong thank you for watching this clip this is the cac of no remember to like and subscribe